Good evening and welcome to another broadcast of the Ninth <clears throat> Baptist Church's midweek message where we give you a 20-minute overview of the Sunday School lesson for this coming Sunday, which will be uh, Sunday, September 20th, uh, the year of our Lord 2020. Uh, the title of the lesson today is Haunted by Shame. And it's taken from Genesis chapter 42, verses uh, 6 through 25. Uh, as a result of experiencing this lesson, you should be able to do uh, the following. You should be able to explain why Joseph's brothers interpreted their misfortune as punishment for their sins. But 20 years earlier, they had wronged their brother. And now God has orchestrated because of a famine uh, in the land that they had to go to Egypt and they, they crossed this path again. Uh, the second thing that we hope that you'll be able to do as a result of this lesson is to uh, 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 sense the need for wholeness in your personal relationships. Uh, we need to make sure that we are right with one another. Uh, if you're going to be right with God, we've got to be right with one another down here. And then lastly, to identify ways to accept God's forgiveness and strive to offer grace to those who mistreat you. And we know that that's not an easy task, but we know that God is able to help us right. to do whatever it is that he wants us to do. And certainly he would want us to have a good relationship with our brothers and sisters. Uh, this evening, we're gonna be blessed to hear uh, our other teacher, Deacon Eve Wilson, uh, who's gonna come and share with us, uh, buckle your seatbelts, uh, as the Lord will use them in a great and mighty way yeah. to share uh, and shed light on this word of God for this coming Sunday. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer. Good, good evening, and I want to say thank God to, for me being here. It's been a while since I've been up here, but it was due to something beyond my control. But I thank God that I'm able to stand before you. Thank God for his strength. Yes, yes, yes. I thank God for my pastor, Pastor Darwin T. Lazar. Thank God for him and what he is doing to continue to keep the word gone full. Bless you. Bless you. Let us bow our head for a moment of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, I come again at this hour, Lord, to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh Father, for all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Surely. I thank you, Father God, for our last night rest and our early rising this morning. Yes. Thank you that you watched over us as we made our way throughout this day and made our way here to your house of thank prayer. You, I thank you for our pastor for the vision that you have given him and how he fights so hard to continue on with the vision, to continue on doing your will. I pray that you continue to strengthen him, Father, continue to build him up. And I pray for all of us, Father God, who have rightly stand before thee. Use us in a marvelous and miraculous way, Father God. Stay with us and keep us in spite of all that's going on and all that's going on around us oh, yeah. in this world. Help us to continue to go forward and bring your word out, Father God, really because it's only your word that's going to take care of what's going on. Yes, so, Father God, in Jesus' name, I ask you now that you would use me. Use me in a marvelous and miraculous way. Stand up in me, Father. Speak yes, through me and for me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 We have another great lesson. Really, really. And all lessons are great lessons. Yes, sir. All we have to do is take heed and apply to our lives. Amen. Amen. The lesson today says haunted mm -hmm. by shame. Uh -huh. My question is to you today, what would you have done if you have been in Joseph's place? Hold up what you would have done. Okay. That's the question we need to ask ourselves. And I know somebody might say, well, that wouldn't have bothered me because I'm a Christian. 
but I have to ask the question, are you sure? Are you sure that that would not have bothered you? Because you got to understand Joseph was mistreated unjustly. Yes. He had done nothing wrong, but he had told the truth. Yeah, that's right. And he was treated unjustly. That's right. But now approximately 20 years has passed. Yeah. Since Joseph was sold as a slave That's right. into Egypt. But God was with him. He was unjustly put into prison. That's right. But God was with him. That's right. And now, now he's in power. In power. Yeah. He is the second in command in Egypt. Yeah. He has power. All Joseph has to say is that this man lives right. and he lived. Yes. This man or died. this man dies yes. and he was there. That's, right. that's, right. that, that, that's how much power that's right. was bestowed upon Joseph. And, and, and what Joseph had predicted that would happen to Egypt has come true. Yes. The famine is in the land. And 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 it's severe. God has fixed it like that because He has a plan for His people to go into Egypt. So He fixed it, and the phantom is severe. That's right. That 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 Jacob hears that there is grain in Egypt. That's right. So he gathered his 10 sons and he sent them into Egypt. That's right. But he keep Benjamin uh -huh. behind. That's right. He does not send Benjamin uh -huh. because Benjamin is the only living son that he thinks he has That's right. by his beloved Rachel. Right. So, so he keep Benjamin close to him. Yeah. And when his sons get into Egypt, Guess what? They have to appear That's right. before Joseph. That's right. And and they don't recognize him. Oh, no. But Joseph recognized them. And, and, and when he and when they get before him, they bow down. Just like he had told them that what happened in his dream. And and, and most so it was his dream that he had revealed to them made them hate him so much that they threw him in a pit and 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 and, and was about to kill him that's right. but god intervened that's right and son his cousins passing by in a caravan yeah, right. and they sold him into egypt that's right and 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 in egypt he was sold to potiphar that's right in potiphar's house potiphar's wife lust at him she lust at him so much that she set it up oh, yeah. to try to get him to lie with her but god was with him he refused and 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 she practically wanted to rape him because she reached for him and he ran away and his coat stayed in her hand and she accused him falsely which got him into prison but nevertheless, nevertheless, what God has preordained, right. it's going to come true. Oh, yeah. oh they, they, they didn't believe that they would have to bow down before right. Joseph. But here they are, right there. bowing down right there. before Joseph. Right. Just like God said they would. Let me tell you, if God says something is going to happen, you can bank on it. It's going to happen. Right. It, 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 it might go five years, it might go 10 years, it might go 50, it might go 20 years. But if you keep believing and keep the faith, it's going to happen. Because God says it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Now, now, when Joseph recognized them and they don't recognize him, Joseph treat them harshly. That's right. He, he talked to them rough. And, and somebody might be saying, well, why did Joseph do that? There was a reason for that. Why did Joseph do that? Well, there's a reason. That's right. There's a reason for him doing what he did. Yeah, because you see, he had God had to test them. That's right. To see if where their heart was. If they had changed, if, if they had changed <laughs> from their 
old evil yes. and dirty way. Yeah, and sometimes God will put us to a test right. to see if we truly are what we say we are. That's right. Because you see, they got a lot of people today uh, who claim to be Christian. Uh, they claim to follow God. Yes. Yeah. But they're not following him at all. Oh, no, no. There are ways. Oh, oh, you can change your clothes. You, you can change your clothes, but it's the heart that has to be changed. Anybody can change their appearance. They can change their outside. That's all saying, well, if it walk like a duck, it look like a duck, it quack like a duck, it might be a duck. It should be a duck. That's not true because you got some decoys. They quack like duck. They swim like duck. They look like duck, but they're not a duck. Look out now. They just wood. You understand? But nevertheless, he put them to a test. You know, now, now he called them spies. He said, that's what y'all is. Y'all some spies. Y'all came in here to see if Egypt was all what they were so y'all could come back. That's right and steal and do some dirt. Yeah. But 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 they pleaded with him. They plead right. that case that they were not spies. He to check them out. But he said, yeah, y'all spies. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And he took all of them oh, yeah. and he threw them in prison. That's right. Now I wonder how they felt. Right. It's like they did him. Because that's what they done <laughs> to Joseph. That's right. I wonder if it came back to their mind yeah. at what they had done to Joseph. Now here they is, they all in prison. That's right. You understand? Now, now they stay there for some time. That's right. Then Joseph go and get them out. Uh -huh. But he keep one. He keeps one with. Right. He let all the rest go. Yeah. And then look how generous his heart is. Uh -huh. He give them all the grain. All the grain. Then he take that money and put it back in that sack. Build this sack. That's a good heart. Come back. I, I just wonder sometimes about me. After you do I, I, I wonder if I could do that. After you done did After wrong. all yeah. that they had done did That's to right. him. Yes, sir. I, I wonder if I would have enough in me <laughs> to, to do what Joseph did for them. That's right. And, and when they get back, they discover that the money is in their sack. Yeah. But but they tell their father Jacob, in order for us to go back, we got to bring Benjamin. <laughs> but Jacob refused. Yeah, <laughs> he he don't want to let Benjamin go because Benjamin is the love of his beloved Rachel. Because you got to remember, if you remember the story, Rachel died giving birth to Benjamin. You know, but nevertheless, after the food run out. Yeah. And, and they begin to be hungry. He said, well, he said, I guess I'm going to have to send them. I'm going to have to send them back. Mm -hmm. So he sends them back. You understand? Now, 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 when they get back, oh, yeah, he takes them. Think about that. Think, think about that. He takes them all. And, and look what he does. He feeds them. Oh, yeah. He feeds all of them. Uh-huh. And, 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 and he hold them for a little while, now, Brother Chip, yeah. Yeah. before he turned them loose. But when he set the banquet up, uh -huh. Uh -huh. he placed that food by the age. My mama. You know, and, and, and they wonder when they see the table, how is it that they know that they got to be set up like it is? That's right. But nevertheless, they eat. But Benjamin, he give a double portion. Uh -huh. He give Benjamin more than the rest. But 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 after they are all eaten and after they have their food, if you remember the story, <laughs> he put his cup mm -hmm. in Benjamin's sack. Yeah, 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 and then after they leave, they run them down. That's right. He and he say, Y'all are thieves. Yeah. They know. accuse them of stealing. Mm -hmm. And and they plead their case. And, and and one of them make a suggestion if they stole, who it is that stole would be left. Mm -hmm. But when they dig in the sack, it's Benjamin. Yes. Oh, that, that hurted them. So he keeps them. That hurted them, so he keeps them. Yeah. <laughs> he brings them back. But I wonder sometimes. <laughs> ask yourself, ask yourself that question. If you would have done oh. what Joseph did. My, my, my. We say we love. Yes. 
And we say we have a great heart and we love we, we God's children. But but how often do we argue and fuss over little things? Little things. Little things. Oh, I, I didn't throw you in prison, Brother Trump, but a little thing. I wonder how many of us have let our past keep us from our present. We, we, we got a grudge. We hold that grudge of time past. More than 20 years. Oh, yeah, 20, 30, 40 years done past, and we still holding on to that grudge. That's right. And 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 nobody threw you in prison. Mm -mm. Nobody threw you in a pit. No. Nobody sold you into slavery. But here you is, you can't sit next to your sister or your brother yeah. over something that happened last week. Bitterness. You got bitterness in your heart. Yes, sir. You hold in that grudge. And, 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 and I was say, when it comes out, you shame. You shame. You're haunted by shame. You, you understand? It, 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 it's sad how it got to come out. That's right. Before you can say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Knowing that you wrong. You know you wrong. You know you did wrong. But you won't say you're sorry until you are exposed. That's right. And, and, and that's what happened with them. That's right. After it was all over. That's right. Here we find Joseph. He reveals himself to them. To them. Yes. And look what he tells them. He said, you meant it for evil. Yeah. But God meant it for good. Before you. you understand? <laughs> I, I, I I had to come here yeah. for the saving right. of my people. Yes, you understand? You understand? They were God covenant people. That, 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 that was a promise God had made with Abraham. That's right. You understand? So there's no way if God promises it, it's going to come to pass. That's right. God does never don't never make a promise that ain't going to come to pass. That's right. If he promises it to you, That's you can bank on it. You can wait on it. It's going to come to pass. That's right. But the problem with a lot of us is that we want to help God out. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we want to help God. God don't need no help. No. We need the help. He promises. <laughs> now, when he reveals himself and they all come around. Yeah. Now, one of them said, how can you love me? After all what I have done, all what we've done to you. But he said, I love you. <laughs> and sometimes I have to ask myself, and I'm about to go to my seat. I ask, how could God still love us? Yes. After all what we have done. Man. Yet and still he feeds us. Mm. He clothes us. Mm. He brings us in. Yes. He put money in our pocket. Yes. Shoes on our feet. Clothes on our back. He keep us. Look at it. Look, look, look around you. People dying, but we still here. We still here. We still here. Good. Yes. Yeah, we still here. Good. And I wonder sometimes. You know, do we have that kind of heart? Compassion. Do we have that compassion that yes. Joseph had? Yes. You know, we have to see Joseph as a type Christ. That's right. If you read the story That's and you right. look at it. And understand that you see Joseph right. as a type Christ. Yes. You understand? He has forgiveness That's and right. love in his heart right. for his people. Yes. And, and, and if you read the story, it's a, it's a very interesting story. And I'm about to go to my city. You need to read all of the story of Joseph. And just maybe we could learn how to love like Joseph. Yes. How to forgive. Yes. Yes. You understand? Because Joseph is a type Christ. Yes, sir. And if we do that, if we learn, stop holding that old grudge. Yes. Stop holding that grudge from yes. 20 years ago. Let that go. Yes. And you don't wait till people come before you in church and start you trying can. to bring it up. Oh. Leave that alone. Put that behind you. <laughs> Let that go. Stop worrying about what happened 20 years ago. My mama. Love your enemy. Do good. Bless those that curse you. That's right. Pray for those that despitefully right. use you and no abuse good. you. If we're going to be the children of God, then that's what yes. 
we must, must do. do. That's right. We have to do that. That's right. Especially with one another. That's right. Yes. Our pastor right here, we're doing all we can yes, sir. with the food bank. Yeah. Planning on expanding so we can give more and more. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what Jesus taught us in Matthew, the 25th chapter. Greater words. <laughs> that's what he taught us. He said, when I was hungry, you gave me meat. That's right. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. Yes, sir. When I was a stranger, you took me in naked and you clothed me. That's right. Sick and you ministered unto me in prison and you visited me. Yes, sir. And we're going to ask him the question. <laughs> when did we do all these things for you? <laughs> and he's going to say, surely as you did it to the least one of these, my brethren, you did it unto me. My, my, my. But the problem <laughs> is, today, <laughs> me, myself, and I, that ain't going to never make it. No, sir. Not with the law. Thank you. <laughs>
Hope you have gotten something out this lesson. Hope we've touched you and reached you in a mighty, mighty way. Let us pray at this time. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness, mercy, grace, and love and kindness. We thank you for this midweek service, dear Lord, in Jesus' name, that we can touch somebody heart, stir up somebody's spirit that they may cry out and ask, what must I do to be saved? We also ask that you look down upon America. America, you also have some things you should be ashamed of. You drifted, you deviated, and you flat out deny that God even exists. So he's working on your counters right now so you can get your business straight with him. If you just look around and see all the events that are happening, we are living in the apocalyptic era. God has all power in his hand. So we ask that you have mercy, dear Lord, on all of America. We don't want you to fear the virus. We want you to fear the Lord who has all power in his hand. We thank you for joining us on today. <coughs> and we thank you for hearing this mighty message on today. Now the moment of departure has arrived. We ask that you dismiss us from this place only, but never, never, never from thy presence. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, the redeemed of the Lord responded by singing, Amen. Thank you. Praise God. We love you dearly. Amen.